Hello and welcome to this Trivari Tech tutorial. In this video, we're gonna see how we can use the click to tweet element when editing with Trive Architect. So here we are in the Trive Architect editor. I've already opened the page and I want to show you how you can add the element to your page as well as how you can customize it. So this element is useful, of course, if you want to give your users or visitors the possibility to tweet about your business directly from this page. So to get started, first of all, you're gonna have to click on this plus sign from the right sidebar to open the list of elements. Now you are going to see the element right here or you can simply type its name in the search bar and when you find it you can grab it and drag and drop it on your page like so. So the element will then be added to the page and you can start using the left sidebar options to customize it as you wish. So we're going to have the main options section here as well as the rest of the general options. Just like in the case of the other elements, you can use all of these sections to really customize it, but you should know that for every option found here, we do have separate tutorials in our knowledge base. In this tutorial, we're gonna go through the main options of this element. So right off the bat, you can see that the element has a different color upon hovering over it. So as you can see, when I hover my mouse over it, it turns blue. Now you can really easily customize the way the element looks like in hover mode, and for that, you can click here on state normal, click on hover, and then use all of these options to customize the hover state. So for example, this background color has been added by default, but you can remove it if you want by clicking on background style, and then simply deleting this color and choosing another one if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as it was, and then go back to the normal state of the element. So now let's take a look at the main options section. So first of all, we're gonna have the label text option, which is basically this text right here, the click to tweet text, that you can also change simply by removing this click to tweet one and start typing another one. Then if you select the element, you're gonna see that the label text has been changed from here as well. So you can insert whichever text you want to appear here and then simply hit enter on your keyboard. Next we have the tweet text section, which is of course going to be this text that you can see right here that can be customized again as you wish, and we can go ahead and change this default one. Next we have this section where we will have to add the Twitter username that should be displayed when this post is shared. So let's go ahead and do that. And lastly, you have the custom share URL section where you can enter a website URL that you would like to be displayed automatically inside the tweet. If you want to do that, you can simply activate this option and this field will appear where you can add your custom share URL. So once you play around with these options, you can actually preview the element by clicking on this button which will actually open Twitter on your browser and if you are already logged in into your account on the same browser, you will be able to preview the tweet. So as you can see, we have this text that we've customized. We have the custom share URL that I've just added and this part with the username that I've also added as well. And then all you have to do is click on tweet and the tweet will be up. However, if someone clicks on the element but they're not logged in into their Twitter account, they will first have to do that and only after they will be able to preview the actual tweet that they can publish. So this is basically how you can use the main options of the click to tweet element to really customize it as you wish. And don't forget that you can also use the rest of the general options to even further customize the element. Hopefully this tutorial was useful to you and make sure to check out all of the other articles and tutorials that we've created and added to our knowledge base. Oh,